What up, wonderful people? It's Medicosis Perfectionalis. Welcome back to my statistics playlist. In previous videos, we had an introduction to statistics. We talked about the population, the sample, the parameter, the statistic, the measures of central tendency, such as mean, median, and mode. As for today, we shall talk about variables, dependent variables versus independent variables. It's all about the cause and the effect. A has to happen before B and not the other way around. Causes will lead to effects and effects have causes. Effects are dependent on the causes. This is my statistics playlist. Please watch these videos in order for maximum understanding and retention. There are three kinds of lies, Mark Twain assures us. Lies, damned lies, and goddamn statistics. Let's begin. A researcher is trying to investigate whether a rise in the number of hours of studying is correlated with a higher test score or not. Question 1. Where is the independent variable? Is it A, the number of hours of studying, or B, the test score? Second question is, what's the dependent variable? Is it A, the number of hours of studying, or the test score? Please pause the video and try to answer these two questions yourself. How do we do it? I want you to think of cause and effect. The cause has to happen before the effect. You need to study first, and then you take the test and get the score. Cause and effect. The cause is the independent variable. The effect is the dependent variable. Why? Because the effect is dependent on the cause. The effect is dependent on the cause. The test score is dependent on the hours of study. That's why we call this one dependent and this one independent. If you wish to download these doozy colorful notes, go to medicosisperfectionalis.com. I help you learn, understand, and pass exams. If you want me to personally tutor you, reach out to me on my website. So therefore, the independent variable, which is the cause, is the number of hours of studying. And the dependent variable, the effect, is the test score. Then you can plot both variables, the independent and the dependent, on a graph like this. Here I have my coordinates. Thank you, René Descartes. The horizontal axis is the x-axis. The vertical axis is the y-axis. There is a reason we start by x horizontal, then y, which is vertical. x happens first. y is dependent on the x. Translation, the independent variable is on the x-axis, whereas the dependent variable is on the y-axis, so that the dependent variable depends upon the change in the independent variable. That's why we say rise over run when we find the slope of the line. See, mathematics make perfect sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. So here is my independent variable, the number of hours of study, and here's my dependent variable, which is the test score. And then we're gonna measure the effect of the number of hours studying on the test score. For example, let's say that we found out that the more hours you study, the higher your test score. So this is a positive correlation because it's a positive slope. Positive slopes it will look like this, whereas a negative slope will look like this. What does a positive slope mean? It means positive correlation. The more hours you study, the higher your test score. That's a positive correlation, which is a topic for another video. This is called the Pearson Correlation Coefficient, abbreviated R sub xy. The x before the y, because the y is dependent on the x. If we have a perfectly straight line going up like this, then the Pearson Correlation Coefficient is positive 1, which is a perfect correlation. It's a 1 to 1 correlation. For every extra unit or hour of studying you do, you get an extra unit on your test score. For example, you get an extra point. For every hour, you get an extra point. Study another hour, you get another point. Study for a third hour, you get a third extra point, etc. This is a positive one Pearson correlation coefficient. If you wish to see more videos like this in the future, please drop your favorite math symbol in the comments. Independent variable, dependent variable, the correlation between the two. 
The dependent depends upon the independent. But the independent does not depend upon anything. It's like a strong and independent woman. She doesn't depend on anyone. She is the independent variable, statistically speaking. Here is another question for you. A social scientist is trying to investigate whether poverty is correlated with crime rate or not. What is the independent variable? Is it the poverty rate or the crime rate? How about the dependent variable? Is it the poverty rate or the crime rate in this case? Please pause the video and try to figure this out. Okay, what should we do? We should always ask ourselves, there is a cause followed by an effect. In this scenario, what's the cause? The cause is the poverty. Okay, so this is the independent variable. And what's the effect of the crime? So crime rate is the dependent variable. Does increased poverty rate correlate with an increase in crime rate? Yes or no? So you put the independent variable, the poverty rate, on the horizontal axis and the dependent variable on the y-axis, which is the crime rate. And then you do some research to find whether or not there is a correlation. If the correlation is perfect like this, this is a positive one correlation. If the correlation looks like this, that will be a negative one correlation. A positive one correlation means that all of the data points will be exactly right smack on that straight line. That's a perfect positive one correlation. Spoiler alert! In the social sciences, you never get a correlation of the perfect positive one. It ain't gonna happen. Social interactions are way more complex than this. If you are a social scientist, you will be lucky to get a positive correlation of 0.4. That will be an epiphany. But if a social scientist provided you with the result of his study and the results were perfectly correlated with a positive one Pearson's correlation coefficient, you can simply tell that social scientist to take his paper, shred it into pieces, and then shove those pieces up his intergluteal cleft. Because that's a snake oil salesman and these numbers are made up. And if you think I'm mistaken, that's because you're smart and I am right. A dude bro once asked Warren Buffett, quote, how can I invest my money wisely? The Oracle of Omaha responded, rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. If a student asks Medicosis, how can I become a good statistician? Easy. Rule number one of statistics is the fact that correlation is not the same as causation. Rule number two, please refer back to rule number one. Horizontal axis, vertical axis, x axis, y axis, run, rise. And as the internet's most famous professor has taught us, the more you F around, the more you find out. It's a perfect one-to-one -one correlation with a Pearson's correlation coefficient of positive one. The more you F around, the more you find out. Fing around is the independent variable, whereas finding out is the dependent <laughs> variable, because it's dependent upon Fing around. This graph might keep you out of jail, kids, because medicosis cares. Quiz time. Here's a question for you. A researcher is trying to establish whether smoking cigarettes causes lung cancer. Yes or no? Please tell me, one, where is the dependent variable? And two, where is the independent variable? Please pause the video and let me know your answer in the comments. Today we learned about independent variables and dependent variables. But how about numerical variables? quantitative variables, qualitative variables, categorical variables, continuous variables, discrete variables, ordinal variables, nominal variables. Well, all of this is the topic of the next video in my glorious statistics playlist. If you value what I do, help me make more videos by supporting the channel. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash medicosis. There are more than 600 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine, chemistry, math, and physics make perfect sense.